What's up, JD Aliens? I'm back. But before we get started with this video, we gotta do some housekeeping. Hashtag new stuff in the comments section if you're ready. Check this out, man. I reviewed some BenQ stuff before, like my monitor right here. This is a 35 inch curved monitor and I am loving every day I get to use it. We've checked out a laptop lamp as well as a desktop monitor lamp. And now we have the Genie lamp. I know, it was kind of cheesy, I get it. Let's do it. This lamp is so cool. I gotta tell y'all all about it. I've said it once and I'll say it again and again, BenQ cares more about your eyes than you probably do. They just think of things that we just don't think of, like how we need to protect our eyes, especially when we're working at the computer all the time. If you spend nearly as much time at the computer as I do, then you're definitely gonna need to protect your eyes with the ambient lighting. So you wouldn't think that a desktop lamp would make all that much difference, but in this case, it kind of does because they got some built-in eye care into this thing. But first of all, we'll talk about some of the features. You got two ways to turn this thing on and off. Now the first way is special, so I'm gonna just save that for last. I'll tell you about the secondary way. The second way, all you gotta do is tap the dial on the top of the lamp and it comes on and it remembers the last setting you had it on. But the primary way to turn this thing on and off is to simply touch or give it a gentle genie rub to the top of that uh, metallic ring it's got on the back of it. Now, I've literally lost like five minutes of my productivity just jacking around with this little thing, just kind of tapping and rubbing because it's, it's just so satisfying. Anyways, so that's the main way you interact with the lamp. Now, right now I have it on a really bright but cool setting. If that's what you want at that moment, go for it. It's there for you. But if you want to change the color temperature to something more warm and even dim that light, you can do that too manually. But like I said, BenQ's always got their eyes on us. See what I did there? The eyes? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, if you touch and hold your fingers on that metallic ring, it'll go into its e-reading setting and it basically self-adjusts into a nice reading setting where your eyes can just relax a little bit and not have so much strain. A couple of things I like about this lamp is that it has a lot of articulation. It articulates a lot. Uh, the lamp part is actually set on a ball mount. That way it can kind of swivel around left and right and it can rock from side to side. You can also pull it back and forth to cover the area you need it for. Speaking of covering area, it's curved like that because it covers up to 150% more than the average lamp. Flicker free. You don't see that thing flickering, do you? No, it ain't flickering. At the end of the day, it's a great lamp. It's definitely a conversation piece, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna increase productivity because your eyes won't be straining so much. But who am I? I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but I am digging this lamp. And if y'all had a good time checking it out with me, make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comment section and I'll see y'all at the next one. Hey, where you going? No, 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 sit back down. We gotta talk about this. You didn't have a good time? All right then, hit the subscribe button. There you go, reach down there, there you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You gotta come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right, I knew you would. All right, man, I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?